Well, I'm happy to be here as part of the Americans for the Arts targeted legislative fly-in this April of 2023. I'm here with a group of other committed arts advocates from various places around our great nation to help convince uh, our members of Congress and remind our members of Congress how important federal support for the arts is to the strength of our nation, both educationally, spiritually, and economically. And we've had a really great day. You know, we um, got to get together yesterday at AFTA's offices and did some really good training to increase our knowledge and awareness of the funding and non-funding pieces of arts legislation that have the potential to create good outcomes this, this, in this uh, 118th Congress. And today, we're all here using that newly honed and refined knowledge to communicate with our members. So this morning, I started off with my Congresswoman. We only have one representative for Alaska, Mary Peltola, uh, over in the Cannon House Office Building. Had a really nice uh, constituent coffee with a bunch of other Alaskans, and they got to meet with her individually, and then also meet with her staff and talk about funding for the National Endowment for the Arts and some key pieces of legislation that are really, really important. And if I may continue, following that, I was able to go over to the Hart Senate office building and meet with a staffer for Senator Dan Sullivan, who is Alaska's junior senator. He is an active duty Marine reservist and a former state attorney general, and he's a very law and order guy. And so there were some specific things related to some arts programs in the Department of Justice that I was able to share with his staffer. And also, he's a big supporter of the Creative Forces program. And I wanted to make sure he was aware that that program has limitations, the way that it's funded through the National Endowment for the Arts in conjunction with the Department of Defense. And that there's some opportunities to increase funding directly to the Department of Defense and the Department of uh, Veterans Affairs to increase the reach of how the arts are helping uh, active duty servicemen and women, veterans, and also their families in the communities in which they live. Because we know the arts can do a whole lot uh, to make them as integrated as possible into our society and reward them for their service to our country. Senator Murkowski has always been a tremendous supporter of the arts uh, since before she was in the state legislature and her time in the Alaska House and certainly always since she's been a member of the U.S. Senate. She's Alaska's senior senator. She's the ranking member on the uh, Interior and Related Agencies Appropriations Subcommittee that has jurisdiction over the National Endowment for the Arts and National Endowment for the Humanities budgets. And she's been very supportive of our continued steady, slow, but steady increase uh, in funding towards one dollar per capita and she was integral in getting us to the 207 million dollar level that we were so delighted and surprised but delighted to achieve last year uh, she was very busy today luckily it's a small building and so i ran into her and one of her approach staff on the stairs and we chatted briefly as she was on her way down to a markup but uh, I'm absolutely confident that she will continue to support our important work. But I was able to sit down with uh, two of her key staff and Jay Dick from Americans for the Arts, talk about where we are on trying to make sure we maintain the level of funding for the National Endowment for the Arts and Humanities, and then also some of the other legislative initiatives, including some of the education bills that offer some possibilities to further the reach of how federal legislation can promote arts and culture activity without direct appropriations to the endowments. So all in all, I would say it's been a really successful day. I'm honored and privileged and delighted to be here. I'm really glad it's only 72 degrees. Tomorrow it's going to be 88 degrees, and I, as a tender Alaskan, will be melting like an ice cream cone in the sun before you here. So um, I'm going to call this a good day and go get on the metro, go back to the hotel, go to Reagan National, and fly back to Alaska, where it's going to be temperate and cool. And I look forward to coming back to uh, our nation's capital when duty calls so I can help with this important collective advocacy effort.